my name is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another magical unboxing video. I have received my Wizarding World box from Loot Crate. This is the July box. It's late again, but come to expect that now that I'm going to be getting it the month after the month that I'm actually supposed to be getting it. The theme is magical creatures for this box and I must say it's a very interesting shape this month. Most of our boxes have been pretty square and this is a very long box. You can see how much longer. The box does a lot of noise this month. I'm really curious to see what's inside. I always find the Loot Crate boxes have really cute stickers on them, so you can see there's a little bow truckle sticking out of the top. I think they're really cute. It's such a shame that Loot Crate doesn't send us an extra sticker on the inside of the box for us to use up because usually you have to peel these off and you kind of ruin them. I almost forgot to, I got an email from Loot Crate saying that the production of the t-shirts, I believe it was, has been delayed. So I think I'm gonna be an item short in this box but that they're supposed to be sending it out a little bit later. So that's a thing. I actually managed to peel off the sticker not too messily. Is that a word? Anyways, now that we've peeled the sticker, it's time to open the box. One, two, three. If I can get it open. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this is what looks like to be the inside of Newt's suitcase. Um, there's some claws, and you can see... There's like the handle and the locks of the suitcase. I think I'm gonna switch it up this time and start reading off the little bio of what to expect in the crate without looking at what's inside of it. So it says, magical creatures, feathers, fur, scales, wings, fangs. The magical creatures of the wizarding world take many wondrous forms. This collection celebrates the many creatures and beasts that have captured our imaginations from dragons to nifflers. I'm intrigued. The first thing that I'm grabbing is making a lot of noise. It's says Rubius Hagrid's magical creature sticky notes. That is so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's open that up. So we have Hagrid standing in front of his little hut and then we have his dog Fang and we have Hedwig and we have Buckbeak and this one I think is a Thestral. The next thing in the box is another box. It's just a plain white box. Oh, it says warning hide shiny objects before opening. This is going to be a Niffler. Guys, it's a little Niffler, and he's a piggy bank. So clever, of course. Put all of your shiny coins into the Niffler because Nifflers love coins. They love little jewels and gold and shiny anything. We are off to a great start. Next up, I picked up this little card because I'm assuming this is explaining about the t-shirts or the wearable because there's definitely not a wearable in this box. So it says... To our brave Gryffindors, clever Ravenclaws, cunning Slytherins, and loyal Hufflepuffs. We truly hope that you enjoy your magical creatures items. However, there is one more item missing from this crate that will be on its way to you soon. There was an unexpected manufacturing delay with the t-shirts, but rest assured that we are working diligently to solve the issue. Please accept our humble apologies for this inconvenience. Sincerely, the Loot Crate team. So I can really appreciate the Loot Crate team putting a note out um, explaining what's happening and that we're actually going to be receiving the product. It's just at a later date. For me personally, I'm not super upset by the fact that I'm not receiving my t-shirt in the box with everything else as long as I get the t-shirt at some point. Next up in the box I seem to have what looks like cookie cutters. Uh, let's see. Fantastic Beasts cookie cutters set of four. So there's a Niffler and a Rumpant, Swooping Evil, and a Bow Truckle. We have the little Niffler, a little Bow Truckle, the Rumpant, and the Swooping Evil. So there would have been five items in this box had there been the t-shirt, so we are on to the last one, um, our fourth item, which is the Harry Potter pin. Oh, I saw a little chain at the top, and there's two pins at the back, so let's see what it is. Oh my god, and there's a chain, so that means it, it comes out. This is the coolest pin I own. You can see the snake's face here, so that's Nagini, and then we have Godric Gryffindor's sword on the inside of it. Wow, guys, the detailing on that. It even says Godric Gryffindor, like, engraved in the sword. All of the little detail. My camera's never going to be able to focus up on that, but just down the center here. For a box with four items, I loved everything. I'm really excited to see what the t-shirt looks like. Do you think it's going to be a dragon or a Niffler? Actually, we don't really need to guess because it shows up on my um, list. Duh. So that's what the t-shirt's going to look like. So it looks like it's going to be a navy blue. The ones that I can pick out are unicorns, definitely a niffler, uh, an owl, 
a Thestral, and two little mandrakes at the end here. The Niffler Coin Bank, the Fantastic Beasts Cookie Cutter Set, and the Magical Creature Sticky Notes featuring Hagrid, Buckbeak, Hedwig, Fang, and a Thestral. So it was a Thestral. And then the Nagini Horcrux pin, the last pin of our Horcrux series. So I got most of the Horcrux pins. There's definitely a few I missed in the beginning because I didn't get the first couple of boxes. So now that the Horcrux pins have come to an end, I wonder what other magical pins Loot Crate has in store for us. For those of you wondering, the t-shirt, the cookie cutter set, the magical creature sticky notes, and the Horcrux pin are Loot Crate exclusives, but that means you can get the adorable little Niffler coin bank if you want it because it's not an exclusive. So that is everything that I've received in my Loot Crate box this month last month. My favorites were the Niffler coin bank and the um, enamel pin because I haven't seen a pin like that and I think that is so original and the detail on that is impressive. I'll probably show you the t-shirt in my next unboxing just to kind of follow through with that but uh, yeah that is everything that I received in my Wizarding World loot crate box for this month last month. <laughs> Let me know what your favorite item was in the box and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!